So in today's video, we are going to talk about the difference between IDS and IPS. So these two terms are really, you know, common inside a SOC and even a NOC, right? So if you don't know what a SOC or NOC is, SOC is Security Operations Center and NOC is Network Operations Center. So network engineers work inside a NOC, whereas SOC engineers or security engineers work inside a SOC. Okay. So these two terms uh, represent the software or actual devices, right, which will help your organization stay protected from different types of threats, right? So let me explain the difference between both of them. So let's talk about an IDS first. So IDS, as you all know, an intrusion detection system. So basically, it's a monitoring solution through which you will try to detect the threats. Okay, the threats which will hit your organization. Now, intrusion detection system uses a passive approach, which means that it is not hunting for threats. It will detect the threats that hit your organization okay so where can you deploy your ids ids can be deployed on a endpoint like a device uh, you can uh, also deploy it on a server okay or you can deploy it at the network level understood so the types of devices that i have uh, described hosts or servers or even on a networking device that would basically create two categories of IDSs. So the first category is called host based IDS and the other category is network based IDS. Now let's talk about IPS. So what is IPS? IPS stands for intrusion prevention system. Unlike your IDS, what is it doing? It is using a active approach for monitoring. So it is trying to protect your network, your infrastructure from threats. Okay. So what is it? What is its job? It's going to identify the different threats. And before they hit your network, an IPS will identify them. So IPS will be placed outside, right? Uh, what is the difference? Let's let's talk about these two terms once again. Let's say somebody attacks your network. When it is attacked, okay, IDS will send an alert, IDS, okay. But when that threat is about to hit you, since IPS is placed outside your network, okay, it is going to detect it and it is going to prevent that intrusion from occurring. So that is the main difference between IDS and IPS. IDS uses a passive monitoring approach, whereas IPS uses a active monitoring approach. So how do you decide which one is better for your organization? To be honest, both of them are really good. Okay. Uh, but if you really have to make a choice, you would choose an IPS. Okay. But in big organizations, that have a lot of budget, they would deploy both. They would deploy both so that the defense in depth strategy is applied. So that is going to be all for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.